billion dollars ang ano so mas marami ang excessive sa kanila kapag ang isang movement mas uh, na, na kikitaan ng mas extreme na excessive na ganun mas mas delikado okay, another question is uh, from Manaig Raymond Manaig Uh, can it be said that there is no denying that there can or may still be speaking in tongues as a gift even to these days? Does the Apostle con Paul co confirm that he also has such a gift of speaking in tongues? However, the Apostle Paul says that the known tongue is better to edify the brethren. Let me just say anong verse kasi yan. Uh, Verse 18, I thank God that I speak in tongues more than all of you. So that is uh, what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 14, 18. So that's the text that says Paul uh, speak, he spoke in tongues. No, we cannot. Uh, wala nang, uh, we don't believe that there would be legitimate speaking in tongues just like in acts chapter 2 or in this age wherein there were some apostles and and uh, who are guarding the church uh, that can interpret even the apostle paul eh, okay na nga sa kanila yung yung speaking in tongues sa kanila uh, it's still like existing uh, still operating but yet the apostle paul uh, reminded them that uh, the uh, the what is more profitable is uh, understanding uh, what uh, a person speaks. So therefore, uh, all the more sa atin ngayon, we should believe that what is more important is the one that is being understood. So let me tell you that in 1 Corinthians 14, you would not see that there is a cessation of uh, gifts here. So we assume that this, these gifts are operative in the Uh, Corinthian church because uh, that's that we approach this uh, honestly and gen exegetically. We only believe that this gift exists because of the uh, New Testament wide consensus and uh, conclusion that uh, when the apostles died, they have ceased already. So, uh, whatever your positions are, you know. When I thought about cessationism in our church, someone asked, uh, what about 1 Corinthians 14? And I have to answer that 1 Corinthians 14 tells us about speaking in tongues, but he cannot apply it because uh, when we see in the whole New Testament that uh, such revelatory gifts are, have ceased, that, that is how we argue with uh, this matter, just, just to be honest. I'm sorry kung nag uh, choppy sa ano niya. Uh, sabi ni Pau Peredomes uh, at saka pastor, iba na kasi ang speaking in tongues nila ngayon. Hindi na na-interpret ngayon. Nagiging way na lang to declare na they are more elite Christians than others dahil sa speaking in tongues nila. And this is true. This is actually what uh, they are they are uh, telling us about or yung the testimony of some of our brethren who have come from this Pentecostal or charismatic uh, churches. And we uh, say that. What we are trying uh, to address only are those claims, just to be gracious. Their best arguments that what if it can be interpreted. Uh, what we're saying is even if we can interpret it, we don't, we don't need it. Just like Kuya Marlon Sales said, the, canon, the scripture is complete. Why do we still need a new revelation. Uh, what we just need is the illumination of the Holy Spirit when we uh, study the Word. And that, that, is, the, that, that is something that I cannot understand until now. If, for example, Grudem, And some storms and Piper, they all believe in the continuation of gifts. Yet they believe that you they cannot they they cannot uh, contradict the scripture. So what what is the purpose? 
why don't we just claim them as, uh, for example, that call it impression? Maybe I think that uh, this is the best course, but we cannot directly claim that you know God spoke to me. That is a license to uh, divine anarchy. And that's what we said kanina. You, what, this is what Pau Peredomes is saying. Uh, speaking in tongues seems like to be gibberish na in loop. Uh, even uh, according to him, even him, he has already uh, memorized or uh, well acquainted with these practices. Uh, yung pattern ng tongues na of his former pastor. So... Uh, it's good that you did not say my present pastor. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it's unintelligible. And that is what uh, Paul... You see, in 1 Corinthians 14, Paul is already talking that these are actual speaking in tongues, but they were languages, for example, of different people. Let's say uh, languages in Africa or in Asia. And you cannot understand because say, we are in... Uh, Europe, we are in Corinth, or we are in Asia Minor. So it, it does not help. But how much more this gibberish and you know bizarre activities and claiming to be uh, filled with the spirit? A uh, few months ago, I or so, uh, I thought about cessationism and continuationism, and uh, I like what uh, Joel Vicky said in his uh, RST. Uh, uh, he said uh, we can just use some words like impression, or uh, it appears that this is better decision, but don't automatically claim because the rep is so great. I mean, it, it's not worth it to believe that, you know, uh, for example, what other uh, con continuationists believe that when they speak, they, they say, you know, for example, this is where God leads me in this direction. They And later on, it will be when, if you are correct or not, not sacrificing that God spoke. And then later on, uh, you will prove to be false. Like uh, uh, some uh, spiritual leaders who prophesy who will win as president of the Philippines. And then later on, their prophecy uh, proved to be is proved, is proven to be false. Okay, so uh, we hope that uh, we will... Uh, 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 celebrate or we would uh, have our holiday and we'll commemorate more uh, the death and uh, the rest